How it rains on different planets. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. We'll tell you about what the weather is like on other planets. From diamond rain to sulfuric acid hurricanes, let's explore. Here on Earth, we know that everything falling out of our atmosphere and onto the ground is water in some form or another. However, it's not that simple. Earth is the only planet that has liquid water. There is indeed rain falling from clouds on other planets, but it's not water, not even close. Diamonds. According to atmospheric data, it's raining girls' best friends on Jupiter and Saturn. About 1,000 tons a year fall on Saturn. It's been theorized that Uranus and Neptune actually crush methane into diamonds, and lab experiments seem to confirm that this is possible. Diamonds form when lightning storms turn methane in the planet's atmosphere into carbon, which clumps together, creating graphite. As pressure builds, graphite is compressed, making it literally rain diamonds. However, you need significant pressure to do that. But about 22,000 miles into the Saturn's atmosphere, temperature rises and the diamonds decompose into a mushy liquid. According to the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, such diamonds would be about a centimeter in diameter. Enough for a ring, anyway. Sulfuric acid. Just be glad you don't live on Venus. Its atmosphere is extremely dense, and it's estimated that the atmospheric mass is 93 times that of the Earth's atmosphere, whereas the pressure at the planet's surface is about 92 times that at Earth's surface. Unlike the Earth's clouds, that are made mainly of evaporated water, Venus's clouds are made of sulfuric acid, since the surface of the planet hovers at a balmy 894 Fahrenheit. The rain only gets about as close as 15.5 miles to the surface before it becomes gas. Refreshing, incredibly hot, sulfuric acid rain. Liquid methane. Saturn's moon Titan has many similarities with Earth, including volcanoes, wind, and rain that created a surface similar to the Earth's. It is the only natural satellite known to have a dense atmosphere, and the only object other than Earth where clear evidence of stable bodies of surface liquid have been found. Over on Titan, there are icy methane rainstorms. Fortunately, the rainfall only occurs about 1,000 years. When the season is right, the rain falls filling vast but shallow basins bigger than the Great Lakes. As the seasons change, the lakes slowly evaporate. Methane is in its liquid form on Titan because the surface temperature is an extremely chilly minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Glass. At 63 light years away from the solar system, there is HD 189733b. Any space traveler confusing it with the friendly skies of Earth would be badly mistaken. The planet gets its beautiful blue color from the rain of molten glass. Talk about the inhospitable environment, huh? The gas giant planet is located close to its sun, which causes temperatures to reach more than 1800 degrees Fahrenheit and results in sideways glass rain that moves at 5,400 miles per hour. The rain is likely more horizontal than vertical, and getting caught in the rain on this planet is more than an inconvenience. It's death by a thousand cuts. Sounds like the rains of terror. Rocks. Karat 7b is a rocky world because small rocks rain down on its surface. The planet in the constellation Monoceros is twice the size of Earth, and about five times the mass of our world. One side of the planet always faces its star, just as one side of the moon always faces the Earth. This star-facing side has a temperature of about 4,220 Fahrenheit, hot enough to vaporize rock. Scientists found out that Korot 7b's atmosphere is made up of the ingredients of rocks, and when the weather changes, pebbles condense out of the air and rain into lakes of molten lava below. Iron. Ogle TR 56b is located at 5,000 light years away in the Sagittarius arm of the Milky Way. It is probably the oddest planet scientists have ever come across. It is more than 20 times farther away than any currently known planet orbiting a normal star. The newfound planet is also unique because it orbits closer to its star than any other known planet, 50 times closer than Earth is to the Sun. The planet is so hot it rains molten iron. Its surface is baked to a temperature of 3100 degrees Fahrenheit. Its upper atmosphere is theoretically just right to form clouds, not of water vapor, but of iron atoms. So the weather is pretty exotic. Jupiter's storms. NASA's Juno spacecraft reveals massive cyclones in the Jovian atmosphere. 
Jupiter's North Pole features one cyclone surrounded by eight similarly sized cyclones, with diameters for all averaging between 2,500 to 2,900 miles. Its South Pole includes a single cyclone, surrounded by five swirling counterparts, with diameters for all ranging between 3,500 to 4,300 miles. Plasma Rain Yes, you heard that right. The Sun is the only place with plasma rains in the solar system. Unlike the precipitations on other planets, you can actually see it from Earth. Huge loops of solar material are lifted up into space, above the photosphere, the so-called surface of the Sun. Not all plasma is hurled into space. Some of it falls back down as coronal rain. As the plasma falls down, it rapidly cools, from millions down to a few tens of thousands of kelvins. Plasma rainfalls are similar to Earth's, but with plasma instead of water. We didn't even get into flesh-melting precipitation on other planets, liquid helium rain on Jupiter, and plasma rain on the Sun. Write tell me more in the comments if you want to know more about the weather conditions on other planets. Thank <laughs> you.